Welcome to the QQ Catalyst training class on setting up a simple commission rule. So within QQ Catalyst, you can set up your commission rules on both the carrier and the producer level in two different areas. You can either set them up using Commission Central or you can set them up directly on the uh, carrier's uh, contact level. To use Commission Central, you're simply going to hover over More in the Global Navigation Toolbar, and then you're going to select Commission Central. Now, if you have your carriers already entered in QQ Catalyst, using Commission Central allows you to set up your commission rules with different carriers uh, without having to go into one account and then into another account. To create a commission rule, you're simply going to click on Add. That's located on the upper right hand side of your screen. And you're going to select then the policy type that you are creating. So if this particular commission rule is only applicable to monoline policies versus package policies, then you're going to select that option. If on the other hand, your commission schedules or your commission rule is um, applicable for any policy type regardless of whether it's monoline or package which means that it's the same commission rule regardless of whether you create a or whether regardless whether you add a monoline policy or a package policy within QQ Catalyst then you can leave it at any um, any policy type the location option below allows you to select which office this particular rule will apply, whether it's any location. So if you're running multiple locations, you can leave it at any if it applies to all of your agencies or select the specific agency location. If this particular commission rule is applicable only when this uh, line of business or um, this is written through an MGA or broker, uh, then you can select the broker in the drop-down list. Of course, if you do not see the broker in your drop-down list, you will need to add that MGA or broker as a contact within QQ Catalyst. Your next option is to select carrier. So at this point, if this commission rule applies to all the carriers that you write with, then you can leave it at any carrier. However, if it's specific to one particular carrier, then you're going to search for that particular carrier within this section and select it. Any line of business. So this commission rule can either be specific to any line of business that you write through Bright Star Insurance Company, or maybe if you have, uh, if this particular carrier pays you different commission percentages on the different lines of business that you write, then you will need to add them individually within this section. So if currently I'm writing a homeowner's policy, um, then maybe this particular rule applies only to that line of business. Moving down the list, sublines. So sublines are subcategories of lines of business that provide you with a way to create multiple commission rules for the same line of business. So if I get different commission percentages depending on what type of homeowner's policy I write, it could be an HO3, HO4, HO6, and each one has a different commission rule, I can actually create a subline for HO3, HO4, and HO6 and apply and create a rule that has the different commission percentages. Now to create the subline, when you click on this option, you'll get a drop-down list you know, with all the sublines that are listed. So if you are needing to add additional sublines, what you will need to do is go to your Global Preferences and there's a specific tab there available for sublines. You're just going to add the subline title there so that you can associate it with this particular account or this particular commission rule. If there are no sublines that need to be selected, just move on to the next section, which is term. So term is where you can select whether this uh, particular line of business is written on an annual policy term basis or maybe semi-annual or quarterly. Um, you're going to make your selection 
And keep in mind that means that when you're in that policy um, and you select that line of business, it's going to only ap apply this particular uh, commission rule to that policy term. So if it varies, if you have a line of business that varies between six-month policies and annual policies, you may want to just leave it at any term. So the same rule applies to either policy term. So in this case, we'll just leave it at annual. My effective date will always be today's date. That means that from today moving forward, any policies that I enter with this particular carrier uh, on this particular line of business will be calculated at whatever percentage I enter in this section. Now, keep in mind when I click on save and I create this commission rule it will it is not a retroactive system so any policies that were entered any homeowner policies that were entered for Bright Star Insurance Company prior to today's date will not have this commission rule automatically reset you will need to go into the policy and reset that information manually okay and then at the bottom, you're going to select or you're going to enter the commission rule that applies. Now, your commission rule can apply either on a percentage basis or as a dollar amount with a flat fee. So we'll leave it at percentage. New business, uh, let's say we get 15% on new business, but maybe renewals we get 12%. Uh, so I can enter the different commission rules that apply in this particular scenario or in this particular uh, account. So I'm going to click on save. So it saves my commission rule. The most recent commission rule will always be listed at the top and there it is right there. Now if I need to copy once I click on that particular line of business if I need to copy this commission rule onto a new um, let's say commission rule I can simply do that by selecting the copy option in my drop down list I can also edit the information that I created or I can remove it so in this case let's go ahead and copy it so now it brings over the information that I originally selected if I need to change the line of business I can go ahead and do that at this point so I can select um, let's go ahead and select personal auto then I can also uh, again choose any subline that would be applicable to personal auto as my line of business and at the bottom I can enter my commission rule now if it differs uh, from what's already on here I can just override it so it does not change the commission rule we set for homeowners it's only changing it for this particular line of business so in this case we'll say 10% um, across the board and I don't get anything on rewrites so we're going to save it now once I go in and copy this again maybe I need to add a subline in this case so since it's personal auto if I have a youthful operator uh, that is listed on any personal auto policies with this particular carrier um, I can look down the list to see if I have a subline created and there's youthful operator so now I can say uh, this actually we should change to either any term or semi-annual and I can say when there's a youthful operator the agency gets seven percent as opposed to ten percent so there are my three lines of business so now if I needed to make any adjustments to any of the lines of business I can go in and click on edit and I can change that to semi-annual okay so while that is saving now I can go ahead and see exactly what I created now if there are any other lines of business that get for bright star insurance company that get a different percentage commissions I can just continuously keep on adding that information